Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a hitch on your Palisade can take you and your family to some really cool places like camping, bike riding, boating and fishing. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's break down this real simple hitch install. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. The first thing we're gonna do is start by lowering the spare tire here. Um, to lower the spare tire, there is a wench located to the passenger side of the spare tire. You can put a socket on this wench from underneath. And the second way is to get to the top of the wench from the rear cargo area. Okay, so I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and unscrew the cap. Once you get the cap off, you'll see the top of the wench here. We're going to take the provided spare tire tool, just put it over the crank, turn counterclockwise, and that should lower the spare tire down. I'm gonna go ahead and release tension on the cable and the bracket by lifting up on the spare tire. Then I'm gonna take the bracket and push it through the hole in the center of the spare tire, and that'll allow the spare tire to come down. Okay, our next step is to remove the driver's side underbody paneling by using a flathead screwdriver to remove three push clips and then using a 14 millimeter socket to remove two plastic retaining clips. Okay, so our next step is to lower the exhaust by removing three isolators. But before I do that, I'm gonna support the exhaust so I don't damage anything. I'll be using a support strap going over uh, this cross member here. Okay, we're ready to lower the isolators. We have one located right below this cross member here, one located right just to the inside of the passenger side rear tire, and then one located right behind the rear bumper here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some soapy water. And I'll be using a exhaust tool to remove it. We're just gonna lower the exhaust just a little bit more to make the hitch installation easier. Okay, we're here on the driver's side of the vehicle. Um, let's go ahead and point out our attachment points. We have two on the side of the frame and then two on the bottom of the frame. It's gonna be identical on the passenger side just above the exhaust. Okay, we're ready to put the hitch up into place. Today I'll be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, you're gonna need an extra set of hands. The hitch does get pretty heavy and awkward as you're putting it up. Okay, I'm gonna get the passenger side of the hitch up and over the exhaust first. And once we do, we'll be able to slide the entire hitch over towards the passenger side. Okay, with our hitch into place, we're gonna go ahead and start by installing our provided 10 millimeter hardware to the bottom portion of the frame on both sides. Make sure that the teeth on your conical washer are facing towards the hitch. This will be the same on both driver and passenger side. Okay, now we're gonna install the remaining four 12 millimeter bolts on the side of the frame. As you can see, we're running into a plastic retainer clip here. It's pretty solid. Looks like there's a screw going down the center of it. So we'll have to get into the cargo area, remove the screw. That'll give us some flexibility to move this out of our way. Okay, now that we have the screw out of the center of the retainer clip here, it, it's pretty flexible. We can move it out of the way. Now I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna kind of pry it in between the retainer clip and the bolt. Okay, now we'll take our provided conical washer and provided nut. I'll go ahead and snug it on. This will be the same on both driver and passenger side. Okay, our hardware is in place. We're ready to torque down the bolts through the manufactured specifications. Um, for the side bolts, I will be using a 19 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter wrench. For the bottom bolts on the bottom of the frame, I'll be using a 17 millimeter socket. Okay, our hitch is torqued down. Let's go ahead and get the exhaust, underbody paneling, and spare tire back into place. Okay, now that we have the vehicle on level ground, let's get you some important measurements. Okay, we have a two inch receiver. And from the pinhole 
To the rear edge of the bumper, we're looking at six inches. From the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube is gonna be 13 and a half inches. Okay, and those measurements will help you determine the rise, length, and drop of your hitch accessories. Thanks for watching our video. Have fun and be safe. If you have any questions about the product seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.